Good morning. We are at Nigeria Prison Service Ibarra Abel Kuta. Yeah, this is the prison environment. Life at Ibarra prison in Abel Kuta. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, 
So this is good for their good work, what they have been doing, and uh, for their preparation for us to come here, we give their thanks and uh, all the inmates for their own preparation also. Yeah, today is an event where we are going to have a, a kind of training in uh, anger management. Because many people find themselves in this type of situation because of, they don't know how to control their anger. And um, for anger, it leads to a lot of a crime. And they find themselves uh, to be inmates. And um, so, that's it. Okay. We are here also to give some gifts to the women. Okay. We have a menstrual part for them. Sanitary you know, part. Sanitary okay, part, the sanitary towel. Sanitary part for them so that uh, we have the overflow and the normal water. Thank you. I'm dressed up so much as well. Okay. So I'm okay for in regards to the training because there is no light, obviously. So okay. we can use our PowerPoint, we can use our laptop, but we hope that they will gain something as much okay. as possible from the training we will deliver. We can call Think first, but it's all about anger management, how you control your anger. Okay. But we don't want to call it anger management training, so we kind of modernize it and call it Think first. So because we all have to think, Okay, would you like to um, enlighten the audience what this training is all about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it Think First. Think First. It's all about anger management. Because we realize that we all do things before thinking. Okay. And then sometimes we regret it. But if we can think before doing things, then that will help us. Okay. And, you know, most mistakes we make sometimes have to do with when we get angry. So we're just going to enlighten ourselves with the anger manager and now we can just, you know, help oh. ourselves. Okay, manage. how often are you going to be doing this? Is this just going to be a one-time thing? As often as God helps us. Thank you. Know, you. We're not going to make any promises, but we're open and we're open. All right, oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, here's our <coughs> FPW Hive. Uh, prison outreach uh, director. Okay. So, do you have anything to say about our event or activities? Yeah, so thanks so much. Yeah, welcome. Okay. It's a privilege here to be. Let me introduce yourself. Now, okay, first of all, my name is Comrade Adibola Iwaji. Prince. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Prince. Okay, Priya, I'm a comrade. <laughs> Prince is aside. So, I'm a comrade. I'm Comrade Adibola Iwaji. So, what happened is that today we are here at Old Abelkuta Prison Service in Abelkuta, right here at Ibaga. This prison is about 100 years old. This prison that you are saying is about 100 years old. And this is the maximum prison in local state. Of all prisons, we have about seven prisons in local states presently. We have prison at Jebode, we have at Laru, we have at Oba. But this is a maximum prison. Over there, that building, is a, that building was a gallow. That's the gallow over there. So back then, when they do sentence people to death, when they do convert people to death, so that was where they used to uh, sentence them. That was where they used to hang them around there. So this prison that you are seeing, we have different classes of inmates in this prison. We have the condemned convict, those that have been sentenced to death. We have the long timer, that is the life, those that are on life imprisonment. We have the tennis here. We have lunatics here. We have a waiting trial. But one thing is that. Out of all the population, we're having over 500 awaiting trials. And that is what is causing congestion in this prison. This prison, the normal capacity for this prison is 500 and, 510. 510 lock up. But now we're having over 1,000 that have been locked up, over 1,000 that have been locked up in this prison. So you can see the correlation between 1,000 plus and 510. So what can we do? The government alone cannot do it all alone. So that is why like HPWI with hands of Hope Foundation coming on together that, okay, we have to do something to give back to the society. Okay, all these people, these people that are here also, they've been like me before. They also the same world, they've been like here and I. And one good thing is that when they said Larry Adebayo, the prison outreach manager, well, let me tell you something, don't be surprised. I was once here before, I spent five years here, I was in trial. So I spent five years, I was in trial in the prison. So that was one of the things that prompted, okay, things cannot continue to go like this. We have many like minds. We have people that are already that have that, that have been condemned to death. Also, do you get the? You want to you want to round up? You want to round up? Okay. Yes. Okay. What I'm going to appeal to everybody is that let us all come on board. It's not about bringing something for him. It's all about doing this. We have a lot of projects that we are doing here in this prison. Okay. We have a pilot project scheme that we've done. We started the scheme here, right there at Ilaro Prison. Okay. 
Yes, HPWI. We signed three years agreement to the State Prison Command. That was in 2015. So it's going to lapse in this year. So what we're doing at the Lara Prison is that we pay for tutors that do, to teach, that do teach inmates there, adult literacy education. Okay. And we, it was this year also. We, it was okay. That was last year also. We graduated 49 inmates. Wow. 49 inmates, and they had their certificate that we will know if they get their freedom, they can use it to work outside there. Some learn tailoring, shrinking all those skills. So at least they won't go out there without having something in their brain that they can fall on. So what I'll just beg people is that let us all support these people because nobody, every nobody is above the law, and it's not everybody that commit that commit such crimes that are here. Some people don't know anything. They, they, are, they are not guilty. Unlike me, I was discharged and acquitted, and even I was being told to be compensated by the state government. But wow. because of being, because of some due to some issues or to some family affairs, I have to drop the case because I, I can't be having cases in the state. So we beg you all. Thank you, hands of Oak Foundation. Thank you, members that are here present today. So thank you. Thank you. Well, that's about it. Uh, we're about to go in, and then cameras and phones won't be allowed. We're about to go in right now. So, we're about to go in. So, we're ready to go in. Okay, they are going to take a group picture now. So, this is Hand of Oak Foundation. So we're about to go in now. And this is the gift item. Sanitary towel. That's the sanitary pad. And this is a, a soap, a baiting soap. Getting ready to go in. We're actually waiting for about to go in anyway. Okay, we're about to go in now, so I'm going to have to hand the video. Um, 
My name is Abiola reporting for Olayomi Koiki Media. Thank you. Bye for now.